Welcome to viewers. Thanks indeed for joining us in this edition of the Prime Time Newscast on Equinox Television. Reports from Boya Southwest region of the country say that the boy who beheaded the father in that part of Cameroon might be banned from the native town of Boya Town. A crisis meeting to that effect is currently taking place in Boya Southwest region of the country. And also elections Cameroon approved just 17 lists uh, submitted by eight political parties for upcoming senior elections in the country and does that qualify the organ as being autonomous we bring to you answers to these preoccupations in the second part of this newscast and also we get to know the reactions of various members of parliament following the re-election of house speaker Kavaye Yegejubu the 21st time in the history of Cameroon they received the news with a lot of mixed feelings these are major headlines details and more just in a moment Thanks indeed, viewers, for joining us in this edition of the Primetime Newscast on Equinox Television. Like we announced earlier in the headlines, elections Cameroon has rejected up to 23 out of the 40 list of candidates deposited for upcoming senatorial elections in the country, and only 17 lists submitted were being approved from the eight political parties that were vying for posts in upcoming senatorial elections bid for the 14th of April 2013. And Roland Akon in the following report tells us or tells us some of the reasons why those files were rejected. All nine lists submitted by the three factions of the UPC party were rejected by ELECAM. None of the three factions had an authorization from the Ministry of Territorial Administration. The SDF list for the littoral region was rejected because the candidate failed to legalize some documents. Four lists of the CPDM party were rejected in the west, the far north, Adamawa and east regions due to errors in the certification of documents. The story is almost the same for the rest of the political parties. The candidates of Minister Chiruma's CNSF party were underaged, while some parties had no female candidates, some could not pay the one million deposit. I will uh, introduce a request a plea to understand the reason why such a thing has taken place. But in case it is not possible, okay, then we will accept the verdict. Ndam Joya of the CDU had no problem. His loan list in the West region was accepted. We read the text and we prepare our list in consequence. That is very important. There are some terms uh, we, are, we are not doing uh, by uh, adventure. We are doing because we know it is very serious. And our candidates and all documents they have to, to provide uh, were there, and we have chosen our candidate. A total of 17 lists were accepted, 23 were rejected. Petitions relating to the rejection may be brought before the Constitutional Council within a maximum period of two days following the publication of the results. Yeah, and it seems like electoral or municipal councillors in the country are not in a hurry to collect their various electoral cards for upcoming senatorial elections in the country. Councillors making up the various elect the making of the electoral college have been obliged to take part in the voting exercise or would simply be disqualified. The head of the Douala II Council or Elecam branch sounded that note of warning in a, a meeting which took place at the Douala II municipality that was today and Zakari Mamadou Abdul said it is in conformity with the law creating the electoral court in Cameroon. Now opposition members of parliament have remained indifferent on the re-election of Kavaye Yegejibri as House Speaker of the National Assembly while their CPDM counterparts have rather said that it is due to his uh, hard work and also experience and the various reactions of the various members of parliament is put together in the following report by Roland Akon. <laughs> The re-election of Kavai as House Speaker leaves some MPs of the opposition indifferent. It, it is the CPDM who wants the uh, representative 
name uh, Kabaye to be president. So they decided they have the majority. It's, we don't have anything to say. The CDU MP is demanding the effective implementation of an internal rule of the House that all political parties in the Assembly be represented in the Bureau. You see that there are some political parties present at the National Assembly which are not represented in the Bureau. Even when we are represented, like CDU, uh, you see uh, there, there are a lot, a lot of... Uh, we have a president, uh, five uh, uh, vice president, uh, four uh, uh, casters, and uh, 12 uh, secretaries. But see uh, which political parties has which kind of status in the Bureau. It's not, it's not fair. Other MPs of the opposition were not available to speak. However, some MPs of the CPDM party expressed joy over the re-election of their party comrade. I am very happy because uh, our House Speaker, Mr. Kavage Gejdegui, is a man of experience. He has been there a long time ago. They say their joy is based over his experience. Kavaye has been speaker since 1992. He's gradually getting to 40 years in the assembly as MP. His dream of becoming a senator was quashed by an undisclosed rule of his party. That is what members of parliament in the capital city Yaoundé have to say as far as the re-election of House Speaker is concerned now government of cameroon central african chad a meeting in the capital city and they would remain in the central region of cameroon to develop a sub-regional strategy to tackle poaching that is the illegal massacre or killing of elephants in africa uh, cameroon and the central african uh, sub-region and the yaoundé meeting follows mass massacre of elephants in the region by group of poachers and the gathering aims at safeguarding the elephants of the region and also to get rid of the said purchase. Now, the director of WWF, that is the Worldwide Fund for Nature, the Cameroon branch, that is Hanson Langmia, in the following report, interviewed by Roland Akon in the capital city, in the, in the following interview, rather, and tells us the measures that they are taking to tackle the rising phenomenon. Uh, you must have heard of what happened in January in Bubanjida, and just less than a month ago, uh, the Sudanese are back, and you heard over 60 elephants killed in Chad. So it's not only there, but also in the forest zone, we are having problems. Uh, Gabon, in Gabon, there are reports of quite a good number of elephants killed within the last two months, and in in Southeast Cameroon, we we have had. Uh, in in Key National Park uh, and in Lobeke, 28 elephants within the last uh, last month. This is all linked to the fact that uh, the price of ivory has become very very high on the world market. You know, because there's ban on ivory in some places, it, it makes the price very high, and there's very big demand from Asia, especially uh, from China and Thailand. That is the director of the Worldwide Fund for Nature, the Cameroon branch there in the capital city, Yaoundé, talking about measures that they are taking to tackle the rising phenomenon that is the illegal killing of elephants in Cameroon, Central Africa, and Chad. Now we take you to Buya, southwest region of the country, like we earlier announced in the headlines, where a crisis meeting is currently ongoing, hold, uh, holding in Buya in that part of Cameroon, between elites of the region and also some local authorities. And key on the agenda is what measure be taken on uh, the boy or the family of the boy who allegedly beheaded the father when uh, they went to the farm and maltreated Daniel, who is now currently under the confines of security forces in a Boya southwest region of the country, reportedly confessed to his crimes. Let's take you back to that report that was fired in by a Boya based correspondent, Derek Jato, uh, to tell us what actually happened and the various reactions of uh, the family members of the said boy. This is the headless corpse of a 75 years old man, Pat Daniel Monty, a retired Wada, murdered by his son, Matute Gabriel Monty, who further cut off his father's head. Here, at Mulamba, kilometers into the Mount Cameroon forest, Pat Daniel Monty left 
with his two sons, Robert and Felix Mbonti, for wood in these forests. Robert and Felix left their father behind to creep down at his own pace and ran down to the village to catch up with an appointment. Maltreated Gabriel Bonte, who has promised his father death, followed him in the forest. Left alone, Matute seized his father's machet and used in cutting his head. This corpse was discovered by a night hunter. What force must have pushed this boy to kill his father? <laughs> Do you do it? So my other person say, I be calling the people they live and we not do not you don't know to know they do support you. Mr. Dick Ganga, our passe house. Mr. Vex more fan of game on me. But the fact that people overheard Matute Gabriel saying that his million has come and taking the father's head down the village in his black bag, many say this ex convict Matute was merely executing an assignment. But who must have assigned him? That was the question on everyone's lips. To appease the God on our way to bring down the headless corpse, at a point we climb with our back facing our direction. The Paramount of Boya, Chief Endeli, seeing the sacrilege himself, order for the head to be brought from the Boya mortuary for burial that same day. This is the first time such an abomination is witnessed on the back of the line. But the Tate murder case recorded in Boya Town within 12 months. The murderer, Matute Monty, who once attempted murder on his brother, raped the sister, is presently behind bars at the Boya police station. David Jato, ETV News. And Matute Bonde Daniel is behind bars at the Boya Central Prison in the southwest region of the country. And there are also allegations that the family might be banned or exiled from their village or native Boya town. And we shall be confirming that information in a subsequent newscast. Now we take you to Bameda, northwest region of the country, when inhabitants of some localities, notably those of Nitabuan and other villages in the Bengui South subdivision have devised other means of avoiding floods and standing waters, especially as the rainy season is fast approaching and they came together to dig the gutters in order to ease circulation of water and we surely shall be coming back to that in a subsequent newscast. Now we take you back to Limbe Southwest region of the country where locals of Bona de Combo, my 14 in Limbe, have been taught on how on the proper use of community water. This was during the sensitization campaign on how to maintain and also preserve water catchment that was constructed by some natives of that locality. Details with our Limbe based correspondent, the Maimo. The chief of Bona de Combo, my four. After the visit at the Bonadikumbo water catchment by the FACO boss, say the SGO visit is yeah, a boss. At that point, I'm more, we are more than happy because we have two police stations, the police government and the special branch. But we are waiting that the government should appoint the commission as well as the professional. The Honorable Member of Parliament, Dr. Rachel Celestine Leonga, said the FACO boss touched everybody. A one day sensitization workshop on the use and management of community water has taken place at Bonadikumbo Mai 4. The workshop is aimed at impacting knowledge to the water committee to better manage the Bonadikumbo community water for the good of all. The workshop took place at the Chief's Palace of Bonadikumbo. Tanda Godwin of the Environmental Protection and Development Association say the community water of the of is under water. water is a spring and being a spring is considered to be the purest. But regarding human activities around the, the, the source, the water catchment, we have realized a very huge problem. And the problem is associated to uh, human activities. Tanya Christian of Lukmev, on his part, say his NGO is involved in the education of the poor use of community water within the we southwest that region. Now that they are expanding on the, on the water supply network, to be able to avoid the problems that they've had in the past is to be able to give them this uh, training. The chairman of the Bonadikumo Water Committee, Prince Peter Wututu, 
equally really had these to, to see. Have, uh, benefit from this workshop because most of our water committee members do not know how to how the management of the water is being done. Really, it is going to help us a lot for things that we have been doing wrong and what we don't know. We have now to readjust it. Now we visit the fire incident which took place in Gaundewe that was recently when the most material damage has been recorded after that fire outbreak said to have emanated from an explosion in a gas depot which later extended to other neighboring shops and residents rushed to the scene but could not help the situation as the ravaging flames had already extended uh, to other neighboring shops and uh, several times by firefighters could not even help at putting out the flames and the incident continued to the break uh, to to the daylight and uh, the fire incident which uh, took place at about 5 a.m. in the morning extended for us and uh, security forces who even came to the scene as well as firefighters uh, tried uh, helplessly to put out the flames. Now, before we go, we talk sports in Bamenda Northwest region of the country where the Batibu Council has organized an annual mountain race amidst observation of several organizational lapses as usual. And an observation by a Bamenda based correspondent from Kenneth was that some of the uh, participants of the just ended Mount Cameroon Race of Hope, which took place in Boya Southwest region of the country, took part too in the Batibu Council annual uh, mountain race. And, uh, from Kenneth tells us more the following report. Lawan Ibrahim and Waya Yvonne are the winners of the sixth edition of the Batibo Council Anong Mountain Race. The event, which took place over the weekend in Anong Village, saw the participation of over 142 athletes, both in the senior and junior categories, taking part. Mostly athletes who took part in the race of Mount Cameroon Race of Hope in Boya. Mayor Tajon Frederick has disappointed us. He was. I thought I was doing the race in partnership with the development association of the village. At a certain time, the partners, you know, when you see it's a partnership, therefore, there's a rule that each of the persons responsible in the partnership should play. And so, next time, during the evaluation meeting, we have to think better to see what we can do. So, next year, the embarrassment of not having a good first aid kit ready on a good shelter should not be there again. A good shelter for all the guests that are there should not be there again. And maybe other lapses that we know were there that did not go to perfection. For the classification table, first with the male senior category. Lawan Ibrahim, two hours, seven minutes, followed by Seni B. Kadiri, and now for the female senior categories. Gwaya Ivan, two hours, three minutes, 30 seconds. Galim Lizet, two hours, 53 minutes. This 47 year old athlete, older than Sarah Etonge, the queen of the mountain, equally took part in the race. It should be noted that Umaru Muhammadu who came second in the recent Mount Cameroon Race of Hope in Boya and three-time winners of the Anong Mountain Race occupied this. And that does it for this segment of the news. But up next, we talk the senatorial elections in the country. <laughs> Good evening to you, Professor Samuel Nkobean. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much, Mimi, for giving me again this opportunity. Thank you very much. Tonight we are going to be talking the April 14th senatorial elections in the country. A lot has happened, and uh, tonight we are going to be talking about the re rejected list for a 30, 23 out of the 40 uh, submitted list of candidates vying for post in upcoming senatorial elections were rejected by elections Cameroon. Uh, pro prof professor, according to you, are you an educationist? What according, what's your opinion on that? What do you think? Uh, Thank you very How much. How do you react to that? As I said last time, uh, Cameroonians need to be really educated into this issue. This is the first time we are witnessing uh, a such high institution, political institution, that is uh, the Senate, uh, the senatorial elections in Cameroon. Uh, many of uh, Cameroonians have been uh, learning about the senatorial elections in other countries and mostly in developed countries like the United States, uh, France, uh, 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 United Kingdom, 
and other countries. But this time, it is our own turn in Cameroon uh, to learn uh, about the senatorial elections. Uh, uh, 17 uh, 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 list uh, accepted uh, by Elekan and, and 23, 23 rejected. I think it is not, uh, uh, it is not, it is not, um, what, am I, what am I going to say? It is not a surprise. It's, it's, it's to tell you that Cameroonians have not yet understood what uh, the senatorial elections are. They haven't yet understood what uh, the, the, what be, what's being a senate is. So uh, I think they have to go, as we said last time, they have to really emphasize and get information about the, senate, about the senatorial elections in Cameroon. This is the first time that Cameroon is going to hold uh, senatorial elections. And as I said last time, this is the high chamber of uh, political institution in Cameroon after the president saying, I think we have the Senate. So we need really to be educated. Even the political parties, maybe who, uh, maybe that surprise, some of them are surprised of their list being rejected. I think it's just because they have You, you said this is the first time that yes. it is happening, of course, in Cameroon. Are you seeing things unfolding the way you expected? Normally, normally because Cameroonians were not yet ready about that. They were, they were expecting or they have been talking about the senatorial elections in so Cameroon. So it's just normal that, that 23 list that. should be uh, should be sidelined, really so it should be set aside. That really shows generally that they were not really prepared for the senatorial elections in Cameroon for almost about how many years that the constitution put in place that the senatorial elections are going to be held in Cameroon. I think that would have been the time that these political parties or the members that were wishing to become senates at the scene, uh, uh, to become senate would have been uh, aware of the conditions of becoming a senate. It is not after uh, maybe before 20 something days or uh, two weeks or three weeks to, to, to the senatorial elections that people maybe who are surprising of rejected uh, uh, list. No, the, the list, the 23 list being rejected by Nekan means that Cameroonians are not really understanding, have not really understood what senatorial elections are. They, uh, they are, in addition of it, they are not really, they, they are not, they, they're not getting, uh, because they did not get the formulas or they did not get the rules of becoming uh, a senator because very soon uh, uh, later we had uh, the list which was rejected because the member, uh, I think uh, the members, uh, uh, whether it's ID card or what, has not been legalized in the region. I think this would have been known before hence. And uh, I think uh, this is a high institution in our country. Cameroonians should really understand what it is. That is why. That is, they should really understand. Are you saying is. that everything is being done in a rush? And is it exactly, not? Exactly. Exactly. Everything is being done in a rushed period. We said last time, before the president uh, uh, exceeding the date that we had for registering uh, 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 votes, uh, I think uh, it, it, things are really in a rush, in a rushful manner. And uh, if Cameroonians were prepared, were prepared for the senatorial elections, the election wouldn't have been rejecting 23 uh, uh, at least today. After uh, uh, for, for after how many days? So we have just four political parties taking part in the senatorial elections: the CPD and the SDF, the UDC, and also the NUDP. Out of the eight candidates or political oh. parties that were going in for the Senate, w what do you have to say about that? The rules are there. The rules are quite clear. I think before uh, these uh, senatorial elections were being convened, there are rules that are governing uh, the senatorial elections, and the rules are there. If uh, uh, the rules, according to the rules or according to the regulations of uh, the senatorial elections, if it is only... Is it, it, is it democratic? Oh, uh, Does talk. it reflect a democratic no, it, society? It, talking about or that we're thinking about but if the rules are being respected I don't think that uh, there should be a problem about that but the most important thing uh, that we're still insisting is that Cameroonians are not yet ready the 23 list being rejected to me as an educationist they are not really understanding what it is they should go uh, I, I called back from I think uh, uh, on Sunday Cameroon calling where professor Ngole Ngole explained widely widely 
uh, the senatorates in Cameroon, the senatorates in France, the senatorates in U.S., and the senatorates in the U.K. Let this, let people should really understand what it is. And I think if they understand what it is, the rules are. It, the rules are there, and uh, everything will be given. Uh, I think uh, the, the list will be accepted. But they can accept the rules that are out of maybe the rules and regulations being put in place by ELECAM or by the government in terms of senatorial elections. I think that is it. So, so now this is coming at a time when many questions were being raised on the independence of the elections governing body. Yeah. I'm talking about ELECAM. Does this issue of rejecting up to 23 lists of uh, uh, candidates vying for posts in upcoming senatorial election, is it an indication that uh, the uh, elections governing body, ELECAM, is autonomous? Mm, yeah, I, I think uh, it really proves because four lists, if I have a uh, good brain, four lists, uh, from the CPD and party uh, governing uh, Cameroon uh, were rejected. So it is not only the list of the SGF or uh, any other party that were rejected. Uh, it proves uh, uh, the independency of uh, the ELECAM in Cameroon. Uh, and as we said, as I'm still saying, uh, this, is, this is a high chamber of uh, a, political, a political institution in our country. We should, they should, I think, those governing or those put in position uh, to, to forward or to, to, to run these uh, uh, senatorial elections or to run these institutions should really take time to, to do it as well as it is being done in other counties or in other developed countries. I think they should take time. And uh, as we said, uh, ELECAM, ELECAM being uh, autonomous, I think, uh, I think we, it proves, it, it really shows because if in those days a uh, full list of the CPTM wouldn't have been rejected. But I think they have been rejected. And if they are rejected, therefore means uh, something else could be, could, is, is, coming, is coming elsewhere from ELECA. I think we should really uh, uh, have confidence in the institution and see what they're going to do uh, because there are reliable sources, people in that institution. Now, we how is elected have to do. for the 21st time? What's your reaction? Um, I, I, I still say, in terms of uh, Kavayege being elected the 21st time in the uh, in the parliament, I think this is this is a norm, this is a process that we witness in our country. Uh, we still uh, undergoing our democracy. And as the president said, so many things are still yet to be done, and it is legal. It is normal. He, he he's represented in the parliament by I think the majority. He's, he's represented in the parliament. The CPDM is having the majority in the parliament. So, so it is not surprising that the former president of the parliament should be re-elected. He can be re-elected as many times as possible if they are having the majority in the. Parliament. So and any never, party, even any party, even if it was the easy of any party that has the majority, I think you can reject yourself. I am called no. I can't reject the vote. So anytime that the opportunity will be, you need to accept it.